Well, welcome to the White House, everybody. Congratulations to the NCAA champion, Yukon Huskies. Congratulations to Coach Oriyama on your record-tying eighth national championship. I, I see this guy too much. <laughs> Keep in mind, a lot of presidents don't even get eight years in the White House. Uh, he spent more time than some presidents in the White House. And he's not term limited. So he can just keep on going. Uh, we've got uh, UConn President uh, Susan uh, Herbst is here. Uh, where, where'd she go? There she is up here. Wasn't sure where she was sitting. Uh, we've got some outstanding Huskies fans in the House, including several, several proud members of your congressional delegation. So give them a big round of applause. Uh, probably the most important person here uh, is not Coach Gino, but Coach Gino's mom who is here. So please give her a big round of applause. She's so proud. And she's gorgeous. And, and that's where you got a, a good head of hair. <laughs> So uh, uh, I have to say to the Huskies, I've missed you guys. It's been, what, a couple years. Uh, seniors Heather Buck, uh, Caroline uh, Doty made the trip to the White House in 2009, so they're old, this is old hat for them. Uh, Kelly Ferris joined them in 2010. Uh, now back there, they were in the middle of a 90-game uh, winning streak. Uh, I reminded Gino at the time uh, when I called him uh, that over the first 23 months I was in office, he didn't lose once. Um, he just pointed out to me that when they won the championship, I went on to win re-election. So he thinks we've got a good thing going here. Uh, now, most years, I think for most teams, uh, being a champion uh, isn't about dominating the way that you did back then. Uh, it's about being at your best when the stakes are highest. And that's what made this team so special. Um, you know, to get that national title, uh, they had to go through a team that, uh, let's face it, had had your number during uh, some previous games, uh, Notre Dame. Um, heading into the season's tournament, you had to play, uh, you had played them three times, you had lost three, that heartbreaker in, in, in the Big East Finals. After that game, some teams might have lowered their sights, but rather than get discouraged, uh, Gino gathered you together in the locker room, I understand, and uh, said, I'm going to show you how to win a championship. And as Kelly pointed out, uh, Gino's pretty good at his job. He knows how to win championships. Uh, so uh, it looked tough at the time, but these folks didn't stop believing in themselves. Um, I have to confess that uh, my bracketology needs some work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody back there is a lot. Brianna Stewart had the game of her life, became the first freshman in 25 years to be named most outstanding player in the Final Four. Give her a big round of applause. Hey! Bria Hartley, uh, Kalina uh, uh, Mosqueda uh, Lewis, and Kelly Ferris earned their spots uh, on the all tournament team uh, after losing their first three games against Notre Dame by a combined 12 points, won the last one by 18. Uh, after that, no matter how talented Louisville was, uh, there wasn't much doubt that uh, you'd take another title home uh, to stores uh, or that thousands of fans would be waiting to join them in celebration uh, because. As any UConn fan will tell you, uh, folks just love this team. Uh, and it goes beyond what they do on the court. Um, one fan came to the victory parade to take pictures for his daughter. And he, he was quoted as saying, we come to as many games as we can because they are truly amazing. They're great role models. They're great role models. And, and that's true in the classroom. I want to congratulate all three seniors on earning not just another title, but earning their college degrees as well. Uh, it's.
It is true overseas, uh, where a lot of these folks played on Team USA, uh, whether it's Gino and the six Yukon Huskies uh, who helped bring home the gold at the London Olympics, or uh, Brianna leading uh, our under-19 team uh, to a championship just a few days ago. Uh, when they're not hitting the books or representing their country, uh, they find time to get involved in the community. Last year, players visited the Hole in the Wall Gang camp for children with serious illnesses, uh, joined the Walk for Autism. Gino just held his 11th annual charity golf tournament. Uh, and while you may be rivals with Baylor on the court, you joined to, uh, together off the court uh, to raise over $30,000 for the uh, K. Yao Cancer Fund. Uh, and so that's why we're so happy to have you all back to the White House. These are just uh, some incredible athletes. They've made their mark as one of the great uh, sports dynasties of our time. Uh, but they're also just really outstanding young women. Uh, you couldn't be prouder of them. I know some parents may be here, and I know you could not be prouder of them. And uh, I told them, and I always say this, you know, uh, as, as the father of uh, two young, beautiful, athletic, and tall daughters, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, it just always puts a smile on my face whenever I see uh, such class acts uh, represent their school, uh, and their country uh, so, so well. So congratulations, UConn. Good luck as you get ready for the fall. I told them, uh, you know, to take a little time off, but they said coach won't let them. Um, but I'm overruling them. Take a weekend, just <laughs> relax a little bit. So congratulations. Uh, <clears throat> we have a gift. Gifts uh, for uh, Mr. President. Uh, one is a, um, a basketball uh, with all, all the players and coaches' signature and the final score of the Louisville game. And we have a, a oh, that's nice. jacket. <laughs> that's a nice swag, man. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's beautiful. you can wear that after you break a sweat. Um, but these are the kinds of things that. Uh, I'm sure you get all the time. And that doesn't make it less important. Well, we owed you a basketball because last time we were here, Renee Montgomery stole yours. I noticed that. I know. I know. So we figured we'd bring you one back. And uh, if you want to use it on the court, go ahead and do that. Um, but thank you for having us. This is uh, people ask if it ever gets old, and it doesn't get old. And uh, uh, I hope we come back for the rest of your administration. Thank you so much. much. Appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Thank